Hi, this is Zubin Vavaina from A to Z Graphology and I'm really excited to introduce you to the concept of mystic graphology and I hope that by the end of this video it inspires you to take a look at the way you write your name. Let's take an example of this person named Sam. Now this person learned to write his name probably by the age of five or six when he was in kindergarten. Now, the way he wrote his name here is very simple. A simple S formation, simple A and simple M. As Sam grew up, his handwriting started to change. He had different experiences, he had different people around him, the lifestyle changed. All this started to affect the way he represented himself. Couple of more years down the line and now Sam writes his name like this. Now although these three different handwritings represent the same person, do you think that the mindset is same? Even if you are not a graphologist and you've never heard of graphology before, you could guess that this person has a different mindset compared to this and this person's mindset is different over here. Now how do you really see mindset in a handwriting? For those who know what graphology is, it's quite simple. But let me explain to you in the short term. Graphology is the science of understanding the human thought process through handwriting. This science is based on simple geometry and the concepts found in human anatomy. The concepts which we are going to use to understand the dynamics of a name are based on micrographology. Micrographology has 14 different concepts which will be elaborated in the courses which I take personally. Now, Let's take for example the way he's written the word Sam here. The letter S has curves and has a flexor stroke. There's a curve, flexor, curve, flexor and curve. So this combination of flexor and curve represents as a mindset of manifestation. Receiving with harmony and manifestation is represented by this letter formation. It does not represent letter S. Letter S is what we say in the language. But in the mindset, based on these concepts of geometry and human anatomy, we have found out that letter S represents harmony of receiving or manifestation. Letter A represents how a person's mindset is at home. Letter M represents how a person's mindset helps him to develop a new habit. So when a person writes like this, again and again, it starts to make an imprint in his mind. Now what is an imprint? Let me give an example. If I say the word apple, immediately a red fruit comes into your mind. Apple is a word but the picture is the imprint. Same way, the way the person writes Sam is the imprint in his mind. The letters written are just a language formation. So now when he is grown up and he starts to write Sam differently, you can see the places where I've marked this in orange. That's where the changes have come. So receiving with harmony and manifestation seems to have been a bit complicated after some time. There's a starting stroke and an extensor stroke even before the letter starts. This stroke from here to here is not required by the letter S. 
this letter S represents itself without this formation. Yet Sam does this. That means there's a sort of a mindset running in his brain that makes him do this stroke. This stroke could represent cur courtesy, could represent a pre-thought. So Sam has a pre-thought or a courtesy before he receives or is able to manifest something. Now, a change in handwriting does not necessarily mean good or bad. It could be good, it could be bad. Let's take for an example. This Sam went to a shop. He paid 10 rupees and he expected to receive the biscuit packet that he chose. When he paid the money, the natural formation shows that he should be receiving what he should be getting. Over well, here what's happening is, there is a pre-thought before the actual receiving. So maybe he is being courteous to the shopkeeper before he actually gets it. You can go to the shop, pay 10 rupees and you can get the biscuit packet with or without politeness. Like a small child, he just enters the shop, asks for a packet of biscuits and gives the money and walks off. Now as Sam grew up, he realized that mannerisms can be quite useful. So here this stroke probably represents mannerisms. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? That's your guess. If you are in a hurry and this stroke is in the handwriting, it could slow you down. Now as this S comes down, the stroke after this green formation, this green dot over here, shows all the extra things. So after Sam receives the packet of biscuits, he just finishes the topic but here there's a sort of a post thought there are so many concepts over here there's a lay drag there's an extensor there's a right drag there's a curve so all these concepts could probably show a mindset of appreciation for the biscuit packet or appreciation for the packaging whatever this child just opened the packet of biscuits and he ate it but this person is able to think about it brood about it now again i must specify we don't know whether these things whether these thought processes are good or not all i am saying is that there's a change in mindset let's take for an example of the letter a the letter a here and the letter a here is mostly same except for this point here where there's an angle instead of a curve. Now this angle could show that there's a sort of a stress at home rather than a relaxed mindset. Now this stress could be a sort of a relationship stress or a financial stress, anything that is affecting home. This smooth formation shows a smooth flow of thought this formation shows a sudden twist or a sudden change in thought process. Now, letter M. This letter M is representing a mindset that is developing a new habit. This letter M shows smooth habit formation, whereas this letter M is showing a sort of a jagged formation where the smoothness of these humps are now absent here it is replaced by an angle you see the way the person changes these formations can be seen over here as a new mindset in the next video i'll be explaining how these mindsets can represent a name life path if you could understand what life path means you could actually see where your mindset is taking you are you controlling your mindset or is it the other way around? Stay tuned for my next video in part 2 of Mystic Graphology.